I'm Ken. I work at the Exploratorium. But right now, I'm at Ocean Beach here in San Francisco to look at sand, and really closely at black sand. The sand on this beach comes from a mountain range far to the east of us, the Sierra Nevadas. The Sierra Nevadas are made out of a rock called granite. And granite's made of many different minerals. That granite rock breaks apart over time. We call that erosion. And those bits of minerals float down the rivers to the San Francisco Bay. The current carries that sediment out the gate and eventually throws it back up here onto the beach. To see what the sand is really made of, scoops them up and let's take a closer look. When you spread it out, you see that there's many, many grains of many different colors. I even see some clear grains, yellow, orange, and quite a bit of black sand. To help better visualize this erosion, I'm gonna use a piece of paper. I've drawn some lines with water-soluble ink to represent the mountains and the mountain ridges. When I spray it with water, that ink will start to move, much in the same way the sediment came off those mountains as they broke apart. Those bits of mineral flowed into river valleys, out the rivers, joined up at the delta, flowed out through San Francisco Bay, the Golden Gate, and washed up here on Ocean Beach. Another way to see this is with your hands. Everybody has the map of California in their hands. Put your pinkies together and curl your fingers up. You're forming the Sierra Nevada mountains. When you look in your palms, those creases are the river valleys. In your left hand, the Sacramento River. Your right hand, the San Joaquin. Where they come together at your palms, that's the Delta. And at my wrist is the Golden Gate. In fact, we're standing right here on Ocean Beach. This part of Ocean Beach has a lot of black sand. I'm going to collect it using this plastic cup and magnet. Here's how I do it. I put the magnet in the cup, and then I hold the cup and magnet close to the sand, moving it back and forth. And all the black sand jumps up and joins the cup. In fact, it aligns itself to the magnetic lines of force of the magnet I'm using. Once you have a collection of black sand, you can do what we do at the Exploratorium and make an exhibit of your very own to investigate the magnetic lines of force. By adding the sand just a pinch at a time, I can really start to reveal the invisible force field of the magnet that I'm holding underneath this paper. If you have different magnets, they may give you different force fields. Let's go back to the Exploratorium and take a look at our black sand exhibit. The black sand we got at Ocean Beach is used here in this exhibit called black sand. The black sand grains are tiny bits of magnetite and iron oxide. They allow us to see the magnetic field surrounding these magnets here. When each grain of black sand comes in contact with the magnet, it too becomes a magnet and can attract more grains of black sand. They build out and form these spiky fingers. Next time you're at Ocean Beach, bring a magnet and get some black sand of your own.